Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how to upgrade your Asus Rogue Zephyrus M16 laptop with a solid state drive SSD. So I got here the Samsung 980 Pro, two terabyte version, and I'm gonna be putting this in, showing you the full how to do it. Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is flip this thing over, make sure it is powered off, and we are going to get out these screws here. Now, there's three right here that you will have to remove little plastic caps from, and mine were glued on, so it did take a little bit of prying with a metal tool here to get them off. But I also have a guitar pick for some of the other re removal steps here, and a brand new set of screwdrivers because my old ones were stripping them down. So, first things we're gonna do is remove these screws right here. Now you must note that the ones on the side here are a little bit longer than the ones in the middle, so make sure you do have them separated accordingly. And then once we get all those out, we're now going to remove the back ones here. Now we have the internals there, so this looks really nice. So we are going to be putting the SSD right in there. Next, we're gonna take our SSD and we're gonna install it into the slot there. Now there is a section on it for the screw there, so we wanna make sure that we're removing the screw from the motherboard so that we can insert it properly. There are two notches, so it can only be inserted a certain way, and you can see it just pops in like that, and it'll fly upwards where you have to screw it down to keep it into place, and it fits relatively smoothly, so that's really all it takes. And there we go, we now have it installed onto the motherboard there and then we're gonna seal this thing back up now i didn't remove the battery i was having a bit of a struggle getting it off so we did it with the battery still on i'm gonna take this here and you can see some of the thermals that they have there very nice i'm gonna pop this back on and we're gonna push on all these corners here to get it to seal on but then we're gonna leave this corner here. So put that back on, we're gonna screw in our screws. We'll put the three middle screws in that are covered by those little rubber seals. place. We now put it back together and I'm going to turn it on and format it now. So now I'm going to show you how to format the solid state drive. First things first, we're going to click on our windows or we can also just go in the search bar here and we're going to look for our control panel. So under disk management, we gotta initialize this. We're gonna start with GPT and go okay. It's gonna recognize the disk, 1,863 gigs. So we're missing a few gigs there out of the two terabytes that we have. So we're gonna click here on the new simple volume. And it's gonna start the wizard here and maximum minimum size there. Next, assign the following drive to a letter, we're gonna call it whatever letter you want. I'm just gonna stick with E drive. And we're gonna go format this volume with the following settings, NTFS, default, new volume. We're not gonna mess around with any of this really. Go next and hit finish. And it's gonna do its thing and we got ourselves a new volume. And we can rename that whatever we would like. And there we go. We have our new drive named the Games Drive. So there we have it. That's how you do it. Pretty straightforward. And you can just go here and collect properties or Alt-Enter there. 
and we can see we got 1.81 terabytes there using 162 megabytes, but pretty simple, straightforward, easy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button below. Uh, it motivates me to more, make more videos like this. This is kind of something I don't normally make. So if you appreciate this, leave a thumbs up. I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next video.